we were not that impressed last time we came. We we're like, yeah. what's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, this time I found in San Miguel de Allende is just so different from last time. We're here in San Miguel de Allende today and along with probably the Lake Chapala Ajic area, this is one of the biggest expat areas where people are moving to constantly. So today we're going to check out the city, see what we find and uh, hope you enjoy. We just left at the El Mirador, we're on the way to the central San Miguel de Allende. We just passed by this lovely neighborhood. It's called Colonia de Allende. And we found that the houses here are gorgeous. And we also find something interesting is that you see that here, only cobblestones, right? And then it shifts to those paved new roads. After a few minutes driving, we are at the Air Central, the central of the San Miguel de Allende. We already saw the church. It's gorgeous. We chose the weekday to come here to avoid the weekend crowds. If you are new to our channel, I'm Landy with my husband Roddy and our son Louis. We moved to Galetalo, Mexico last year and we really enjoy living here. Our channel is all about living abroad as a family and how to achieve financial freedom. This is the most fairy tale looking church in Mexico, I think. If you like our video, please click the like button. We really appreciate your support. After the whole morning, we both felt hungry. Time to get some food. So we're here at La Golo, Golodrina, which is a little restaurant right around the corner from the Centro. Just about to have a little lunch. I know we're both starving, a little hungry. Yeah, so we time. found this one just on Google search. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the scores are pretty good, 4.8, so we give it a shot. Yeah, just basic guisos and some tacos. Nothing fancy, but uh, I think it'll definitely hit the spot. <laughs> what do you yeah. think so far? Um, so far, I think this time I found San Miguel de Allende is just so different from last time. That was over one year ago when we visited yeah. here. But that was during the very COVID time. Everything locked down, everything closed. Like most of the shops that yeah. were closed. Yeah, we were not that impressed last time we came. We were like, yeah. what's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, it's so like just old town, all the up and down hill, busy streets, but nothing to see. Not so much things to see besides the big casillo in the middle and air hutting. Yeah, and, and, a and, couple the of and a couple of restaurants and that was it. Yeah, yeah. we went to the Mercado and the, the artistry market, which is selling all the souvenirs, mm. clothing next to the Mercado. Yeah, it definitely just seems much more alive right now. A lot more yeah. things open, a lot more galleries, uh, just restaurants, everything's more open, more people out. So it's a, definitely a different feel. And I think this time we drove around a little bit more, so we've seen more of the city and starting to understand a little bit more why people like it so much here. Yeah, and we saw so many beautiful shops. After lunch, definitely we gotta check them out. Yeah, time to do some shopping afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you soon.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go, Mexican. All right, so we just finished our meal. What do you think? It was huge. Yeah, it's awesome. And I finished them all. It generates at least the seven, eight tacos I had. Yeah, I think I had five or six huge tacos. And it's only what, like $7, $7.50? Yeah, $7.50. $1.45 pesos. 145. for each plate. Yeah, I call that a deal. Yeah. And now we just landed at the Rosewood Hotel, which is said they have a pretty rooftop bar, which you can have a very great view of the San Miguel. We find there are some boutique hotels. There's one behind me looks so pretty. So we just arrived at the Rosewood Hotel and we're up at the Luna Bar, rooftop bar. Very beautiful, you can see the nice uh, landscape behind me, you can even see the very famous church. It's closed right now, uh, open for probably for dinner, but very beautiful up here. This hotel is really worth the visit. I feel so happy we didn't miss this. And it's much bigger than we thought. The yard, the landscaping is very beautiful. So we're on our next stop. We're standing outside La Fabrica La Aurora. Uh, I'm actually not too sure what's inside. Landy had mentioned this place, but just by the name, it's some kind of market. They sell kind of craft goods and uh, foods, probably a couple of restaurants, but we're about to find out with you what's inside. All right, let's go.
So we just finished our trip in Laola Art Gallery Museum La Fabrica. Now we know it used to be a factory to produce fabrics. And now it's a huge gallery. They are full of art pieces, antiques, and so many more shops. And we haven't even finished one third of it. And there are two cafes there. We plan to eat there, but until we saw the menu, there are burgers, sandwich, and pizzas. We're in the mood for some local food. There are so many more to see here. We don't have enough time today as we have more to see in the central. So definitely we will come back here to finish the trip. The rest of the day, we just take a walk, explore the old town San Miguel de Allende. There are so many things to see, so many shops to explore. We just don't have time to finish everything in half day. As we live so close by, only one hour away, so we plan to come back to explore more of the city. Stay tuned for our blooper in the end. That will make you laugh. Ah, whatever. She's complaining that, that the little lanyard fell on my food, but <laughs> that's not gonna stop me. It'll never stop me. And what's, what's the food? Chicharron. That's a Beef, chicharron. Chicken. Pork. Pork, yeah, and the devil shot in the middle. The red sauce. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I say something? Sure. Okay. This is my dish. A piece of meat, a piece of meat, and a piece of meat. 